Okay, so let's share the screen. Okay, so uh, lab four, which part? Uh? I think it's exercise. Which one uh, do you recall? Exercise two already, this one. K structure, uh, maybe yeah, this one. K structure. Is this one. Uh? Yes, sir. Uh, is this the one? Yes, sir. Or how I get this uh, multiply, is it? No, no, no. Uh, it's the multiply does not work with E number. Multiply does not work. But this is you create one, uh, this E number. Uh, because the multiply is supposed for a string in the video. Uh. In the video, uh. yeah. In the video, they use string to to put in multiply, plus and minus, uh. Oh, okay. And the e number actually work with one and zero, I think, uh. Or maybe you can just type or something to to change it. So mm. these are the one that I don't understand. Oh, but you look at it, uh. You must start looking at it, uh. But the video, you they use string, uh, right? Yes. Actually, it's the yes, same, uh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, this e num is it? This one yeah, uh, the e number will not be able to run the program. It has no, the, a uh, yeah, it have a zigzag la. I mean the the black color thing. Broken arrow. Yeah, broken arrow. Yeah, right. Okay, maybe just to clarify, uh, this e num right? Basically, yeah, uh, just to clarify. Okay, for the all of you uh, for uh, if you are all listening on, yeah, we are. I just quickly do a quick clarification uh, for the let four. Okay. Uh, yeah, let four. Uh, in case you are looking at it okay but maybe most of you still haven't yet or haven't but anyway just good to share lah. okay this lab four one right uh you're done the lab three already, i hope uh i think most of you submitted i think most maybe except for some okay so for i hope you all found the video useful lah. you all watch the video then try to do some of the exercise and along the way i know some of you messaged me to ask me some question lah. okay which is good okay feel free all right then uh let's uh three i think y'all did some basics right all right and then also uh y'all also did at the end there was a google quiz right so i hope you attended that one i haven't checked yet what is the latest okay so y'all did some quiz then they ask you what are the uh some basic question are like what are the three pallets in that view and so on okay so i think y'all get a good feel of it so our lab uh next two labs are uh, will be pretty similar eh? We're going to do something somewhat similar the the pattern uh, or the 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 lab uh, session will go on in this fashion uh. so it'll be self-paced uh, some video then you watch this professor guy talking right then you share you some video uh, then you will create the program eh. then you save or uh, remember yeah. to uh. so you know lab test right eh? ah lab test what lab test oh go on, go on. this one got lab test or got lab test eh? the practical test is based on lab view one eh? oh yes Ah, uh, so it's good to familiar huh? don't say don't know how to use that. Eh? Uh, okay, that means uh, the basic things like how to create wow loop la, okay, put the timer, okay, stop button, all these things you must do. Huh? Because the so, practical the practical test is similar one, it's also a so-called uh online version one. That means but no video will be provided eh, for the the practical test. Okay. So that means that there, there will be an online, okay, so the, okay, good question, uh, since you quickly mentioned, uh, practical test uh, will be a Google form. Eh. The Google form got instruction to tell you what to do. Okay, he will show you like some block diagram, some front panel. Okay, then you are asked to create or construct the, the program. Okay, after that, you need to submit, you need to save first. Then they will, they will ask you some question in the, in the, in the, the Google questions, right? Some of the questions will ask you, after you create this, you run this program, what is the result? Eh? Then you need to, after you run it, right, then you copy the result eh, and then enter into the Google's, Google form. Eh? Then you submit the answer. Eh? You know what I mean? So don't say that, now you just do, 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 then after it, you know, it's not for fun, one, uh, you know, this exercise. Basically, your lab test is covering lab three, lab four and lab five, eh, these three. Oh, just to take note, uh, this one, okay, the lab test. Good question, good question. The lab test is covering this thing. Eh. Yeah. Uh.
Oh, okay, so uh, yeah, so then uh, the lab four very briefly is that they okay, you will cover things like the all these things are huh? okay, we are uh, okay, so the question is how to do the case structure one, uh, some, uh, one of your friend asked this one, yeah, okay. Regarding this enum, right? I can quickly show you lah. But basically, what it does, the uh, enum here. Later, you will see. Uh, there's this thing called the k structure. Eh? Okay, so a k structure is a structure whereby you can have uh, different scenario uh, if you like. Eh? Okay, so if you got maybe a case A, case B, case C, different cases uh, or for that matter, maybe this one is a simple calculator example. Eh? All right, where they will show you how to do different arithmetic and eh? I think there are four I think. So they will do things like uh, multiply, divide, times, I mean uh, your addition and subtraction. Eh? Okay, so maybe uh, I think you're asking exercise two. Uh. Okay, let me, this one is exercise two, right? Let me just double check. Uh. This one is, Three actually. Three, exercise three. Three, yeah, correct. So if you're uh, looking at it, I can show you. Okay, yeah. wait, I launched my lab view first, a quick one. Uh. Okay, my video also upload already. Very good. I can share the link with you guys. Wait, uh, uh, where's my lab view? Still launching. Uh. Okay, wait, uh, my lab view is still launching. Let me just copy and share with you the this uh, Google link, uh, I mean the Dropbox. Okay. okay, let me, okay, just give me a moment. Uh, I, I use the, uh, the other computer to WhatsApp your this Dropbox link. Uh. Later, y'all can got time. Uh, y'all can go and check out the the video explanation uh, regarding things like the KVL control voltage law, those things. Eh. Okay, uh, the one that Mr. Chan covered in his class. Eh. Okay, I'm gonna send you this uh, Dropbox. So this one is on the tutorial. So it's my video. Tutorials. Videos. Okay, y'all check your WhatsApp. I just send y'all something. Yeah, all right. There are five videos. A bit dated. Never mind. The video, to be quite honest, a bit, a little bit dated. Back, uh, but it's okay la. the content is still relevant eh. okay so y'all check out uh, the, the dropbox link when takes take a bit of time to download i think eh. small time uh, you need a bit of time to yeah. okay i uh, can can open or not can you can you see the link can y'all see the link i hope you can uh. Okay, uh, question, uh, sorry, this one coming back to here. Okay, the solution, okay, which I already done. Okay, wait, uh, wait, 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 wait. Okay, it's this thing here. Okay, so I think in, uh, just now your question was inside the video, they use string, is it? So in here, we use uh, enum, uh, this one, eh? So, uh, yeah, so basically, okay, this is just a very simple one with just three operations. Uh, okay, what, you're trying to what I'm trying to show you here is that this program, a uh, very simple program, you, what you're trying to illustrate is the use of this thing called the case structure. Uh. Uh, so, uh, you can have, for, for instance, now you, I got three operations. So, there are two inputs and one output. Uh. Okay, so you can see over here uh, very briefly. So I can, uh, okay, let's say if I, okay, I use the continuous run. Uh, you will notice that I got, okay, I can uh, add like this, right? 
if I, I can choose the operation because input I got input A, input B, then I choose the operations. The enum here is basically the operations. That means I what what arith arithmetic operations I want to use. Eh? Okay, in case you are wondering. Mean to say, is it only plus minus that kind you're asked saying about? Uh arithmetic. Uh plus yes, correct. La. Arithmetic. Oh, okay. la. Ar ar arithmetic operations are. Okay, I just type here, as you can see. Yeah, it's basically the plus, minus, and so on. Uh. So as you can see currently, I if I choose, let's say uh, if I choose plus, right? When I run, uh, you see that I got the you can see my screen, right? Can now? Can, can. Uh, okay, okay. So basically your your input A, input B, right? So basically they because I choose a plus operator, uh, I add up these two numbers and give me the result. Okay, you see, uh, so this is what is happening here. So in the left view, right? Uh, okay, so basically he will try to execute this operation based on this enum. Uh. This enum is just now the one that I, you, I just renamed it. I call it arithmetic operation. Okay, so uh, I can use that to select the case. Now, maybe it's a good thing. Maybe I share you. I switch on the, this thing called the highlight execution, uh, this light bulb. Okay, quite useful. Eh? When I run this thing, you can see the flow of the, the information, eh, which is very useful. Eh? Uh, can you all see? If I run this, take a look. Uh, okay, so you can see the flow of the information uh, from so called left to right. Actually, it's based on the data flow. Uh. And you can see, right? I think it's very clear, right? Okay, so if I switch the operation, uh, if I choose another one now, if I maybe use multiply, let's say, uh, okay, I choose multiply, okay, I switch back to my screen here. Uh, you can see that it will switch to multiply because of the input select, the selection, uh, the arithmetic operation I choose is multiply now. So he will switch to the, the case multiply. Then you will use the multiply operator to multiply the input A and input B to give me the result of the output. Uh, and then you push out the data out to show the result. So for example, it's, quite, it's correct, right? Because your input A is 20, your input B is 4. Uh, so if you use multiply, you're getting a result of 80, eh, which is uh, correct. Uh. Oh, you understand? So if I choose, uh, let's say, uh, minus, let's say, um, a negative, minus, minus, operator yeah i will get 20 minus 4 uh, so my output here will be 16. so you will choose the appropriate uh operator to use uh, the operations i mean okay maybe i just show you one let's say uh I, okay let's say if i want to add another case i can actually using this enum this one is very powerful uh, this thing called the enum where to find this uh just in case you are not sure okay you right click yeah, it's under the on the control palette there. Uh, there's this thing called the enum. Okay, so this one will be explained in the video. I uh, don't not to worry, eh? not to worry. But what maybe I thought I'd just give you a flavor. Uh. So you also can right click, you can add, or you can edit the item. Eh? Let's say if I selected this, I edited the item. Uh, you can see that. Okay, one more guy came coming in. Okay. So you can see that I have the enum properties. I can simply insert another operations as and when I want it. Okay, let's say if I choose, I insert one more. Uh, okay, you can see that, or maybe what I want is divisions. Okay, let's see if I choose, uh, I choose, uh, I type in, uh, okay, division, let's say. Okay, I want, I included one more called divide. Okay, so I click okay. Right, so then I go to my block diagram here. I can uh, come to here. I can add another case. Right click. Okay, uh, add uh, add another case. Eh. Okay, or add case up add for every case. Okay, I just add one more. You will notice that uh, I have populated one more case called division. Eh? You see, eh? division. Okay, so what I can do is I can right click. I can select the division operator this one okay select this division operator and drop inside the block diagram okay then i can wire uh, the terminals Oops. okay the wire the terminals as shown 
okay, and connect the output to the output terminal here. Yeah, so basically, I'm done with that. Okay, so I got uh, I added another operation called the division operator, so which is shown here. Okay, so now I added one more division. Just now it doesn't it do, we don't have right this one. I just added only. So if I run, okay, you can see that. Yeah, I can turn on the light bulb. Okay, now I run. Yeah, so I got another uh, operator called division. Okay, so I I hope this one maybe help a bit uh. Hello, sir. Hello, sir. Yeah. Hmm. Uh, just double check with you. What's the difference between the e number and the string? Uh, string base one, okay, I can show you one also. String base, uh, enum one is better in a way uh, because you can use a string. Uh, okay, let's say you put a k structure just to share. Okay, let's see if I put a k structure, right? If you use a string base one, a string base control, uh, let's say if you use a string, okay, uh, I show you. Okay, let's say this is the string, right? This is a string. Uh. Okay, if I use a string to control this thing, uh, you might have, you might be prone to error. Eh? You type string, right? Okay. Now the okay the, the beauty of the enum one is that after you created this enum, you, you define here, right? Let's say for example, you define just now I did what I did, right? You define the items, right? Actually, each item, the the word, uh, the, I mean the the item word uh, here, as you can see, for example, you got plus, minus, division, multiply. This actually corresponds to a numerical value. Eh? Okay, so because for us, right, instead of let's say, for example, imagine you got a case structure inside got 1,000 cases. Or well, very confused, like how, how I know what is case number 599. Right? You, know, you understand what I mean? So it's very difficult eh, to use case, I mean to use numbers to represent a case. Eh? It's not very meaningful, right? As I mean, for humans, right, we prefer something that is more natural, ling linguistic, uh, language to explain. And that means, for example, you notice that this one is easier to see, right? Because I use the operator plus, minus, divide, multiply. All right, you see uh, over here. Eh? So it's very easy to, then this thing will, when you wire the, the enum into this case selector, it will auto-populate. Eh? It will auto populate this. You see what I mean? This one will be auto generated for us. So it's then you just put in your code into the respective uh, case. Uh. Whereas if you use a string base, uh, okay, you you may you may encounter some difficulty because this guy doesn't recognize it. Let's say if you if you let's say true or false, uh, let's say you type. Uh, okay, let's say for example, uh, if you might you might accidentally type something that is incorrect, then uh, you might have a problem. Eh? You see what I mean? Let's say, for example, if I run and show you, uh, if I click, if I run this thing. Uh, okay, so this case, it is, okay, this, the program is running continuously, uh, but you just focus on the bottom one. Uh. So currently, it match uh, true and the true string case, right, is match. But what if I change the, if I type, uh, type wrongly, eh? Let's say if I type wrongly, if I type my true uh, like this, uh, I purposely deliberately spell wrongly, uh, I purposely spell it wrongly, as you can see. Uh, okay, is it will have an error, you see, it will go to a default error case. You understand what I mean? So this one is not so good, eh? it's not so uh how to say more not so robust uh, in a way to detect error. Eh? Because okay, it, uh, Yes, yes, question? Uh, yeah, understood, understood, understood. Mm. Oh? Uh, sir, just to check, check something else. Since you're uh, at a block diagram, right? Are you uh, able to do a copy and paste uh, of one uh, of the item? Because during that time, we were being taught on the this uh, uh, the lab 4, right? They, they say uh, that we just drag, copy and paste. Oh, uh, yes. Can, 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 can copy and paste. So, okay, for example, uh, let's say, okay, if I want, oh, like, let's say, for example, over here, uh, since I'm here, Let's say if I want to duplicate the output, right? How to do it eh? without creating again? What you do, you can if you if you have your lab view with you lah, you you can select this object or or any object that you want to duplicate. Eh? You just press. Okay, now you cannot see my keyboard lah. I'm pressing onto my keyboard lah, on the control key. Eh? 
Okay, press the control key on your keyboard. Hold it there. Use your head finger. Press the control key. Hold it. Uh. Left click on your mouse. Uh, then you drag. Eh. So you, this is what I show you. Uh. I'm holding my my control key. I left click on my mouse. I selected the object. I left click. I drag. Eh. You see, I can duplicate many. You see, eh. as long as I don't release my control key. You see, I can populate multiple items at one go. Do you see? Is that what you want, Miss Lee? Yeah, yeah, correct, correct. Because ah. then at that time, I, I can't do it. That's why I uh, do a copy and paste. Ah, for you, yeah, la, of course, the copy and paste is a, slow, is a slower method. Like, I know you do this, right? Yeah. Ctrl C, Ctrl V. <laughs> ah, okay, this one is a standard way. But if you use my method, la, okay, actually, they also teach. They, they, they didn't teach you. La. They, they, he yeah, speaks very Ah, okay. So, yeah. So, maybe I hope that helps. Uh, you can try. Uh, you have to try first. Eh. So, the... Uh, oh, so, use the... So, you press the... The control key. Uh, control key on your keyboard. Uh. Mm. Okay. Press the control key. Then, you left click. You drag. Yeah, thanks. Okay, can. Uh. Okay. Any other question uh, for about this part here? The left view one. Okay, so far, okay. Yeah, but you will know, the lab four and lab five will get more more uh how to say the level of difficulty will get a bit more and more, uh, but you all have to try because that's one they ask you to use the formula node. Eh. Uh, so you all can go and play around. So the formula node, just a quick one, is is actually under here. Lah. Go to structures under this thing called formula node. Eh. Okay, so this one is something for you all to explore. Eh. Okay, y'all watch the video first, ah. Uh. Y'all check out the, the video by the guy. And then you see uh how you do it. But I think his video he more or less got show, right? I think maybe I'm not sure. Eh. Is it okay uh, the video? Generally can follow. Uh. Have to pause and then try and do right, then you watch, right? Any any problem, maybe just a quick feedback. Any encounter any difficulty? You spoke too soft, uh. we really soft cannot, uh. I can't write here. Too soft. Oh, this a uh, more, yeah. Show example of oh, how to use formula node. Oh, we, yeah, can do it. Uh, so I'm, I'm looking at the chat. Uh. Okay, maybe good, good one. Uh, since uh, Mr. Sharu, you asked, right, can you show a quick demo right, how to use the formula node? Yeah, okay, let's do one, a uh, very fast one. Uh. So what I do is that I use a formula, formula node. You see, uh, okay, over here, right? Okay, let's say over here. Uh, now, what I do is I have A and B, right? I add, I use an add operator. Add the two sums, the values together, and then display the output, right? Now, in fact, uh, if you... Of course, this is the, the reason why we use lab view part here. is because this one is easy. Eh? It's quite easy to construct, okay? So imagine if you look at some uh, mathematical formulas, uh, maybe something to do with calibration of a sensor. Eh? So the mathematical expression is can be quite horrific, uh, I would say. It means quite complex. Uh. So how is it possible to use text also formulas that eh? can be done? Uh? Okay, I can show you. Let's say for example, okay, uh, this is a simple Example, only just this is just adding. Of course, if the formula is very long, like log, la, got log, uh, you know, log times log values or some other thing, and then it's to the power of 10 times e to the power of something. Okay, the formulas can be very, very horrific, eh? very, very difficult. Eh? Okay, which I think you will see in one of the lab five. Eh? There's one exercise he asked you to try. Okay, but never mind. Okay, so what you do is that I'll show you one demo. Okay, uh, the formula right are uh, here. So you use this formula node. Okay, you can just drag one formula node and then drop here. Now, very simply, what it does is that inside the formula node, inside, inside uh, is actually uh, some codes. Uh. Okay, so first of all, you need to establish the formula. What is the terminal inputs? Uh? Basically, you need to tell him what is the input, what is the output. Okay, so let's say for example, okay, I want to do exactly the same as this. I'll, I'll just mirror this thing over here. Okay, so I'm going to use the input A, input B, and I'm going to wire. Okay, so I call this, uh, okay, I'm going to right click at this terminal here, at the input of the formula node. Okay, I'm going to right click add input. Eh. 
Okay. Now, actually, I got this thing, this video recorded. Uh, so, in case data I upload, uh, you all can also just check it out uh, after that. Okay. Add input, right? You add an input. Okay. Let's say if I call this input A, uh, I call it A uh, to be consistent with this one. Uh. Okay. So, you notice that I created one terminal. So, the data will come into the terminal. Uh. Okay. So, later you will see. Now, I'm going to add one more B. Uh. Right click. Okay. Add. Uh, wait, let me see. Uh. Add. Right click. Yeah. Add another input. So I need to define first, uh, okay? So I click add input, I, add, I type in B, uh, okay? So now you notice that I got A and B. Now I'm gonna wire this thing into here, uh, just, to, just to share, okay? I'm gonna wire this input A into here, and I'm gonna wire the B into here, okay? So basically, it, it's just a parallel, if you like, it's a parallel circuit, uh, right? I have one circuit there, parallel, at uh, the top eh. okay so what I want to do is I want to do the same thing right I want to add so what I do is that I because I know the the, the terminal now has this variable called a and variable b eh. so maybe I call this uh, x huh? okay so I put x equals to a plus b eh. a plus b semicolon okay Oh, wait, uh, you have to be careful. Uh. This guy one, the syntax sometimes may be... Okay, because I didn't define the variable output. Uh, I need to add the output. Uh. So I add one more output. I call it x. Uh, okay, so you see. Eh? So no more broken arrow. You see, uh? the arrow is drawn. Eh? Because just now when I was typing this, okay, I did not define the variable x. Okay, so maybe I expand it. Uh. I populate it bigger, uh, I resize it. Oops, sorry, where did the thing go? Ah, okay, so y'all can see. So input is A, another input B, so the output is X. Alright, so and then, uh, okay, let's see the result. Okay, I right click here, create indicator. Okay, so this is the output variable. I call it output variable x. It will give you the same answer uh, as you can see over here. So if I go and uh, this is my output. Uh, this one is the output. I just the one I just created. Eh. Uh, output variable x. Okay, so if I run this, it will give exactly the same result. Okay, provided let's say my this one just now is uh go to add function, right? Plus. Uh, okay, so you can see that the output here and the output here is exactly the same because uh, I instead of using a, a function like an add function in let view, I use a formula to add, to to uh, do, do the it's actually exactly the same uh, They are doing the same thing. Eh? Okay, I hope that helps, uh, Mr. Sharu. Hopefully, this small little video can help you. But actually, he also explained by the, the prof. Uh, the guy who explained, I think he also got to do yeah, this. Yeah, I can, I can, no problem. Can, uh? mm. Okay, good, good. Any other question uh, regarding this one? So far, so good. This one, okay, uh, I hope. Need some practice, uh, eh? you all need to practice a bit, eh, this one. Yeah, how to do this thing. Now, I think one very good... Uh, uh, what could, resource uh, resources for you is to go and check out I, as I mentioned you're right the, the book to go to the YouTube uh, not, not YouTube uh, learn lab view eh. this one I encourage you eh, you all go and check out this one uh, so maybe quick one just to show you yeah you just go type Google right you just look for this thing called learn lab view eh. you should it will lead you to a series of the videos uh, okay wait, uh, sorry this one this bar sometimes uh, don't obscuring my my this tab. Uh. Sorry, hold on. Uh. Let me show you here. Yeah, so you all can go and refer to this thing called Learn uh, Lab View. Uh, this one, yes. So you you will see this. You navigate to this. You just Google Learn Lab View. Uh, it will bring you to this page. Nowadays, our this Google sometimes got a lot of 
compare a lot of uh, those uh, advertisement uh, uh, not so good yeah So let's do it again. Huh? So I come here, I just type learn that view. Yeah. Okay, so you should arrive at this one. Yeah, you go and type learn that view. Okay. Then you click on this one. Uh, go, and, go and check it out. Uh. I find that it's pretty useful. Eh? Because uh, this one, all the series of videos. Okay, this one. Quite good actually. The guy who explained, uh, let's say you want to learn about loops and structures, right? Or data types, structures, eh? maybe for example, click on this one. Click on, uh, okay. So he, he got video here to explain eh? this one. Uh, he will share with you the different things. Eh? So I think, okay, lah, I think I will uh, sort of pause here. Uh, any question so far? Okay, so uh, let me stop my screen share first. Stop. Okay, so today who is not here? All present uh, today. All present. Okay, hey, just a word of caution. Uh, uh, I know you're most of you using the your broadband right so but be be mindful uh, because uh, when you are doing the online learning you may choke up a lot for your your internet data plan uh. so you're going to watch out eh. be mindful eh. okay especially i think nobody uses your phone uh. i think uh, the way i see the zoom right if you if you, if you use a phone to connect you will see i will see something like a phone icon or something eh. Okay, so be mindful uh, the, regarding the internet bill. Eh. So otherwise, at the end of the month, the bill come, you'll get a shock. Eh. Okay. Uh, other than that, okay, so. Okay, just a moment. Uh, let's bring you back to the video. Okay, uh, maybe a quick one. Uh. I think today's session may be quite short. Uh. Okay, I'll show you one more screen. Uh. Share with you my screen. Okay, so what uh, you all have received uh, just now in the your WhatsApp group uh, the link right actually i just share with you uh, some videos some trade my recorded uh, so-called tutorial videos uh. okay so i think yeah this one eh. can you all see my screen yep can I? okay so I share with you something like this. Now maybe uh, the audio part I'll leave it to you lah. The I cannot. I don't want to play the audio here. I just show you. Okay. Now some of the video over here. Uh, for example, let's say if you look at this tutorial three one uh, Okay. So I click. Yeah. So I okay. Not uh maybe not this one. It's a bit dated lah. I would say. But I think 
uh, that's not the point. Uh. The point is that it can help you cover some of the things. Eh. Maybe I'll show you this one, uh, tutorial three video. This one, I, uh, this one, uh, the one I explained on the... Yeah. Okay, I think you all cannot hear the audio, uh, right? I don't think you can hear the audio because you, I, I didn't share the, the audio on my computer. But this one, I think is very useful. Uh. Ah, okay, so maybe uh, this one. Eh? Okay, so it's a little bit dated, the video, but doesn't matter. The principle of this thing still holds. Eh? Okay, yeah. And uh, I believe many of you may struggle to uh, solve this kind of circuit problem. Eh? This one, okay. So it's, I think it's yeah, tutorial 3, video 2. Eh? You all go and revise this one. Eh? I shared something I feel that is very relevant. Eh? This one, for example, this one often students always ask issues, uh, this type of question. Eh? Because I think the basic, you must try to grab. Uh, okay, if I forward the video a bit, uh, you probably sometimes will ask to solve some circuits. Uh, uh, something like this, this type of circuit. Eh? Uh, okay. So how to solve this type of circuit issue? Eh? Uh, uh, okay, so this one maybe you want to take a look. Uh, because I, I, we use this method. Okay, the, the circuit that I drew on the, the left hand side. Uh, okay, is the fundamental uh, uh, way to explain a simple circuit. And then you apply this to solve your other complicated circuits. Uh. Okay, so I think y'all got time, uh, maybe go and refer, uh, then see how I solve the, this circuit. Uh, this one. Okay, so I explain. Uh, I, used, I used only a basic circuit on the left hand side, uh, as you can see, uh, where you sum the voltages of the circuit in uh, a clockwise direction. Eh. Okay, and according to KVL, right, Kirchhoff voltage law, as we know, uh, the sum of the voltages across this circuit, this simple circuit on the left hand side. Uh, okay where your E is the supply, right? The battery supply source, okay? So you have a voltage drop on R1 and then another voltage drop on R2. Eh? So I call it VR1 and then VR2. Eh? So you can see on the whiteboard that I written there. Right? So your E minus VR1 minus VR2 equals to zero. Eh? So you can use this principle here to solve any of the other circuits that you encounter. Eh? Okay? So I think, okay, I don't want to bore you. You all can obviously uh, catch this thing at your own time. Okay, this one. And then also uh, the earlier part of the tutorial, you all also, uh, also have the video uh, where, yeah, like for example, tutorial 2. Uh, uh, maybe you want to see uh, how I work out. This one, uh, I think it's there. There's one on the, this one, the, what do you call it? The uh, one with sure. the, yeah, yeah. When is the test for this all question come out? I mean, uh, the quiz or the common test or what? No, that we no, need we, to solve this all okay, question. Okay, this type one, right, will be the smaller quiz. Eh. In fact, uh, to be, yeah, that's a good question. Uh. Now, your common test, uh, uh, as I explained, uh, I don't know whether Mr. Chan also got to tell you that at the end of the term, uh, I think week 19 or week 20, uh, you will attend, you will sit for a test. Eh. Okay, and uh, that test percentage is 25%. And that is the highest component eh? in so called uh, in one sitting, uh, in one common test. Uh, because we, we are going to replace that, replace your exam uh, because of the COVID, right? So there's no uh, so called final exam. Eh? You, the one was worse, uh, the final exam last time, uh, before the COVID time, uh, the normal, I call it the peace time. Uh, the, Exam is 45%. So it's very, very heavy, right? If you, if you mess up that one, you might so called mess up, you might fail the module, right? If you, don't, you, are, if you are not careful. Lah. So now the one is 25%. Okay, the one is at week 20. Now it's week 6, ah, just to share. Now it's week number 6. So week 20, you will take the written uh, common test. And that one is only one and a half hours. Ah. Okay. Will there be a revision? Sorry, will that be? Revision. Uh, yeah, la, before, the, before that. La. 
Okay, thanks. Yeah, before that, there will be revision. But, okay, good question. Coming back to this, right? The, this uh, will be the smaller question. Eh? Like, for example, all these small little tutorials, then you will have a smaller uh, quizzes uh, that Mr. Chan will, will ask you. Eh? Like, last week, you all did the quiz. Eh? What was it about, uh, by the way? You all know? What, what, what was the quiz last week all about? BJT, is it? Last week, I don't know what you all said for the quiz. I didn't oh, yeah, know BJT. One. Yeah, majority is BJT. Oh, okay. So some uh, Google quiz, right? Then the, the how long? Uh, you remember how long was it? 20 minutes. Huh? 20 oh, minutes. 20 minutes. Uh. Oh, uh, okay, okay. Uh, okay, okay. So I hope maybe that helps. Uh. So all these small little tutorial is good to do. Uh, better try to do. Uh, at least along the way, you don't like lost, lost sight of things. Uh. So these small little tutorial things you should try to do, try to practice. Uh, and then, uh, okay, watch my video. Okay, try to, then along the way, Mr. Chan will quiz you. Eh. So I hope that address, hope that answer the question. Eh. Any, any other question? Okay, so far. Okay, uh, no question. Hey, wait, uh, wait, wait, Mr. Question ah, uh. okay. Well, Mr. Chan, wait, wait, wait. Yeah, hold on uh. Just one, one moment. I reply him one message, eh, Mr. Chan. Eh. Okay, any question? Uh? Any other thing? Sorry, sir. Uh, for the lab 4 and lab 5, right, the quiz, right, can we just do directly already or we have to wait until the that week that is opened? No, you can do any time. Eh? Okay, for the quiz. Uh, uh, right. okay. Sir, I don't think so. Like. I think uh, there is a close, time claim. Uh. 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 Check on your side. I think I never tried before. Just want to ask. Never, I never set time. Uh, only for that. Is it time? No, I don't think so. Eh. Can can do that. Eh. Because previously, the uh, two like uh, with Chiang and Vani. Uh, oh, the one, the, the one I I set wrongly. Eh, the lab three. Oh. The one I set in my mistake. Eh, the one I set wrongly. I set the respond. Uh, I set uh. I set the respond number of responses only set to two. Eh. That's why it's uh, messed up. Eh. That okay, one is my okay, fault. Okay. That one, uh, so I think can do. Y'all finish, you do ahead, it's fine. Eh. No problem. Got it, got it. Okay. Yeah. Submission then, sir, then you open up. Uh, yes, correct. Alright. Noted. Okay. Now I think other sorry? than yes, oh, yes, sorry, yes. sir. Uh, one more question. Uh. is this yeah, yeah. uh only lab until lab five only, right? Would yes. that be lab six or seven? No more already. Lab five. Only. No more idea. Okay. After that, okay. there will be a test. Uh. Understood. Okay. Uh, there will be a lab test. Uh. The lab test will so, be based on lab three, four, five. Okay, uh, sir, so just, just to double check, uh, because uh, what happened is uh, we, we actually have a, a quiz on week 7, uh, verbally from, from what, Mr. Chan. 
What quiz? Mr. Chan, uh, uh. just a normal quiz. Uh. So uh. I haven't set everything yet. So maybe uh. later I can clarify. Uh, maybe I'll check yeah, then uh. when, when will be the the the, the lab, test, uh. Uh, lab test? Yeah. Okay, lab test will not be so soon. Eh. According to the lesson plan, uh, your lab test is in term 2. Eh. At least after the the June break, uh, wait. Let me let me pull out the lesson plan again, uh. Just a moment, uh. Not so soon. Not so soon. The one still got time, eh. Because you must understand the uh our lab, uh, is alternate, uh. Because the other the other group, the other class also must do, eh. You know, uh, You know what I mean? They also must cover the content, eh. That means they must also finish lab five because you all start ahead, man. Uh, for the lab, because you all started practical first, right? Then they they start with tutorial, man. Uh. You know what I mean? So it's alternate, Correct. alternate, alternate, right? So until the point where the both class, both classes all finish the lab five, eh? uh, then we will uh, then have the, the what do you call the practical test. It will be after. Eh? Okay, so uh, right. yeah, so if I show you the Excel, uh, okay, you see your you see this one, uh? okay, you see my screen or uh? uh okay, so if you look at the lesson plan, uh, now we are only week six, eh? Now we are only here, right? Okay, you know what I mean? Now we are week six. Now look at this one, uh, week six, eh? We are still at yeah, 26, right? Today is 26. Yeah, so we are here only. So now today, the other class started lab three, which you all did last week. Uh, okay, then of course, uh, there is lab four, lab five, then lab test, you see? So it's after the term break, eh? It's quite some time back, you know? July, eh? We are talking about July. Okay, we are we are, ref we are referring to July leh. mid July leh. Uh, for you all. Maybe you want to take note lah. If you want to put in your calendar, uh, maybe take note leh. Your your test date will be on the 14th July. Is that okay? okay. 14 July. Then the other group will be uh the the for the next the following week lah, 21st ah for them. Noted, sir. Thank you. Okay, uh, can, uh. so I think other than that, yeah, today relatively short. Uh. So the common test, there's a that final so-called end of semester, uh, uh, they call EOS, uh, end of semester common test is on week number 20. Eh. This one. Okay, so you have to take note. Eh. This one. The major milestone uh, is this one. Uh. But along the way, there will be small quizzes. Uh. Okay, there will be small quizzes. That's why your lab exercises you all need to do and submit. Eh. If not, I cannot, we cannot award you marks. Eh. You understand? This one, eh. you see your weightage. Huh? This, this, was the, or, this was the original. This is the new one. This We are looking at this. Eh. Look at the bottom one, uh, this one. Okay, so this is the thing that I'm trying to let you all understand. Uh. Okay. Oh, can yeah, uh, So you see it. Eh. So there will be small quizzes uh, and all this will be accumulative. Uh, you will accumulate. Eh. Okay. The, the most major thing of the this semester because of the COVID thing uh, is this thing that this common test thing. Uh. This is a written test, eh. it's one and a half hour. Okay, S seated, uh, invigilated, uh, and Return test, eh? one and a half hour. Is there will be four questions that eh? you need to attempt. It's a bit like exam like that eh? in a way, but it's only one and a half hour. Unlike your exam is the traditional exam is two hours. This one is one and a half. Okay, four questions. Eh? Okay, so this will be the me la, This will be the your biggest uh hurdle. You all must jump over or cross over. Eh? Sorry, sir. Uh, just double check out. Uh, uh, there is the assignment. Uh, so there will be one assignment uh, coming up. Yes, the assignment will be small one, uh, small, small, uh, okay, there will be two short quizzes, eh. okay, so this one will up to, we, Mr. Chan and I will discuss uh, this one, what we will do on this assignment, eh. oh, the one we will tell you eh, later. Okay, uh, uh, after the, the break, mm -hmm. la, correct? Uh, yes, it will be after the break. Okay, thank you. Okay, uh, okay. so... Now, also one more reminder, uh, just, just a quick one, okay, reminder. Now, the remote learning thing, right, you all need to do also, uh, don't forget. The one, uh, uh, okay, the remote learning, right, I don't know whether you all got to do or not, uh, 
uh, Mr. Chan. Eh. But for my, uh, my remote learning, uh, all this got mark on it. Eh. It's in Polymore. Eh. It's mounted in Polymore. Okay, maybe since you mentioned... So what do you mean by do? Because he just asked us, we go to remote learning, we just only listen to what he say only. Oh, okay, okay. That one for his case... Okay, maybe for his case, uh, but for... Okay, let me share. Uh, let me quick, quick share with you. My remote learning a bit different. Eh. Uh, if I go to Polymore, uh, where are? I think your one got the lab 5 and stuff like that to do, right? That one. No, my remote learning beside you watch, uh, there's quiz inside one. Yeah, yeah you need to yeah. launch the thing, something like that. Ah, Sorry. it's called iSpring. Uh. Okay, so uh, for example, here, uh, okay. So you see under the remote learning package. Huh? Okay, I will remind you all uh, along the way. Okay, I know this Mr. Chow just watch it, watch only, right? Okay, but then if you okay, so uh okay, this one. Uh this one uh, you see my this remote because my topic is a uh, topic five ma. Uh, okay, mine is behind. Okay, so if you click on this one, I just share. Uh, okay, I click on this one. Uh you will see it will launch a package. Uh, uh this one, it will launch something like this. Okay. Uh, so I got the, my video. Now inside this package uh, is a SCOM quiz. Uh, that means that you have to go through it. Okay, I'm not going to click here. Uh, this one, if y'all can click, okay. You click on it, right? You, they will, I will be explaining. My, there will be some explanation. Then there will be some activities. Then you need to do. Do those activities, submit. Okay, the marks will be captured eh, inside. Okay, can I just to let you know eh. This one, this is called the, the I mean for the, for my part, la, the remote learning. For uh, this one here. Okay, so uh, yeah, that one is under the remote learning packages. Mr. Chan will probably give you some activities to do. La. So far, maybe not, la, but I think he will give you some activity. Like for example, like you, you, you need to use the calculator to calculate the standard deviation and those things, right? Okay, uh, so for myself, I got three packages here. Eh. Okay, so this one, uh, but I haven't covered the content, uh, of, obviously, so it will be later. Eh. Oh. Okay, so I think other than that, yeah, that's all I have. Uh, unless you all got any question. Eh. Anything else? We'll be going through tutorial three. Ah, <laughs> uh, okay. Tutorial three. You got any specific question, uh, Maybe okay, tutorial three. Okay, let's quick look. Uh, tutorial three. Sorry, I've been like chatty talking, uh, So you all can stop me, uh. <laughs> Okay, top tutorial three. Any specific thing you want to ask? Eh? Maybe might be good. Because I know some of you, a few of them left already. Left the room. Ah, tutorial 3. Yes, this one. Ah. Are you all looking at this question? This question is it? I know some of you got maybe got a question on the integration on ah, this one. Eh. Alright, this one. Any question so far? Or oh, haven't done yet? Don't know. Whether you got to do or not. <laughs> I'll try it. Miss Lee, Miss Lee, you got to do it. Have you tried? Not yet. <laughs> ah, sorry, not yet. <laughs> so maybe, uh, yeah, I think maybe good to try first. Uh, eh? Y'all try first. Then if you can, uh, y'all come, like last week, some of you asked some very specific question, eh, which is very good. Eh? We all come prepare, uh, y'all ask question there. Eh? Okay, because otherwise how I go through, I run through this thing. Uh, it's actually inside my video. Eh? You know what I mean? Just now like the circuit, right? Uh, this one, right? It's actually, I explain on the whiteboard. Eh? So if you are looking for like my explanation on the white, on, on how to solve this, right? I suggest you watch that video. Might be easier. But if you got specific thing you want to ask, like maybe I want to know which part, eh? uh, then you, you, you ask me, you know, face to face, uh, like now uh, uh, I can address for you. Lah. But if you want me to go through the whole question and explain to you, I think it, you might be better off your time uh, to check out the video. <laughs> I don't know what you all think. Uh. 
Uh, just to check, uh, for mm. example, uh, for the thermometer question 2, right? This is the time measurable uh, time measurements for make. So what if uh, the question will give you a range me to say that for uh like example like, like 510.0 to mm. 515.2? Mm. Next, right, is 505 to 505.5 uh -huh. to find the mean and to find the medium, uh, they uh -huh. give you this kind of range. Can we still able to find? Uh is that the outlier, the point that you mentioned? Eh? You know what's outlier? Uh, don't know. Outlier means the point is totally out. Eh? Then there's, there's a question, you look at my screen now, the question one, right? They, they, they say this outlier. That's why I asked you. Uh, you mm. see this word? Uh? Yeah. The word I highlighted. Uh, it's called outlier. Outlier means mm. uh, if you look at this data set, uh, okay, uh, do you see any, do you spot any outlier? It means that the uh. points are totally out of the data range. Maybe not lah. This one maybe already write down the outlier value in this set of measurement. Do you spot ah there? There's one what there. This is the outlier. Do you see this value? 305.0. Yeah, it's totally out. Eh. Don't you see? Mm. Compared to yeah. the rest, ah, the rest are close by. This one is to the odd one out, eh. The odd ball, I call the odd the odd value, eh, outside the range. So this is the outlier. Okay, but then of course you need to calculate the other things. Uh. Calculate the mean, standard deviation, and the median. This one is standard question. Eh. It will sure be asked one. So then you need to know how. You know how to use your calculator? Yep. Uh, okay, so you'll be asked to calculate this uh, statistic. This is a call, uh, yeah, uh, statistical calculation, a uh, very uh, standard one. Eh. Okay. Basic statistics eh? like using your calculator to tabul to tabulate the thing. This one, I think, in in the test, ah, uh, uh, this type of question very common. Mr. Chan will sure ask you one. This one. Oh, this is a good question, uh, If you ask me, this is a good question to to fully understand the crux of it, uh, the detail, eh? This one because you will be tested, eh? This time they may change the data set, uh, The data set will be different. So this is one. And then of course the next question is the other one, uh, is this one. Uh, but you haven't do ma. Uh, I think you're going to try first. Uh, eh. Please help me try first. Eh. Then we discuss again. This one. Uh, the three type of meter. Right. The rest the the RMS, okay, the true RMS meter, the average meter, right? And the other one is the peak responding one. Uh, this one. Okay, so Okay, I think any other thing. Eh? You haven't tried yet, that's why it's a bit hard. Lah. You haven't when unless you any of you try it, yeah, then you can you can ask some question because some of you haven't tried it. Eh? <laughs> okay, now, Miss Lee. Okay. Hey. Hey. Yeah, nah. hmm. Okay, maybe try first. I'll give it a try first, then we will revisit this question again. Eh? Like this kind of question. Eh? The circuit one, then the the calculation one, this the standard deviation, the statistics one, uh, and then followed by the the this one. Okay. So other than that, uh, I don't have much uh, in solutions are there uh, anyway, but solution you need to you need to try to understand the the the, the, the how the, the principle behind it. Uh, that's the main thing. Eh. In fact, I think Mr. Chan one got some narration here, right? I think I look at this, this one here, yeah. Several of these things, he got, got some uh, MP4, this one. I don't know whether you all got make use of all these resources, or not, right? Okay. Think other than that, yeah, that's about all. Uh. I don't have much ready. You have anything else? Uh? You all can stick around and ask questions. Eh? If not, I will stop my screen share. Uh. Okay, any question from you all? Or if not, you all want to go for your dinner first before you all have lesson, right? Any question? Mr. Lenz, any question? Okay, sir. thank you, sir. Okay, uh, can, uh? okay thanks, Mr. Sharu. Yeah, thank you. Mr. Yasin, okay. Ah, okay, sorry. Okay, no, okay. Okay, ah, uh, thanks. Yeah, 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 thanks, thanks. Thank okay, you, okay. bye bye. Okay, ah, uh, thank you. Okay. Thank you, sir. Okay, thanks. See you next week, ah. Uh.
sir. Okay, thanks. Good night. Okay, thanks. Um, sorry, sir. Just yes, double check yes. with you. Uh, 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 for, the, for the lab, uh, for the labs, right? Actually, I finished all. Right? All the. Oh so, yeah, I only left the test lah. So do I still mm. need to go for the lab around? Huh? The the lab ah why? Yeah, I even finished lab five already. So, Which yeah. Too easy or what? <laughs> uh, actually, I okay, like yeah. programming lah. So oh. that's why I, I got this kind of view. La. I see. Because, yeah, so, yeah okay, okay, good. Because, if it's uh, all graded by these labs, uh, I think I can score. <laughs> oh, nice ah. Uh. Oh, yeah, I like. think, sir, I, I know why just now my E number cannot work. Uh, because I why? copy and paste, right? The E number actually refer to another cases. So I need to open up the case. Uh, you need to rewire a new case. Uh, uh, no, a uh, rewire also cannot. Uh, so the case, work. right? You need. Uh. You you need to delete everything, uh, leave one default, then after that, inside the E number, open up the case again, then show all the empty cases. Yes. Uh, then later delete all that right. thing then, because all, all right. I copy one, I duplicate, yeah. duplicate, duplicate. No, no, what I'm saying right. was that you have your E num, E num already, right? Then you put a new case structure, then you wire the E num to the case selector, then you then you add case for every value, auto populate. Mm, I think cannot that, sir. I think later you pull already, right? You need to open up the cases. No, I mean, you put a fresh uh, case structure. Eh? Yeah, uh, you need to go to the enum, set it in the in the property, then you reflect it out. Or else a little, like, in, because the video goes by normal normal uh, 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 control, mm. okay? Then later on, they delete away and put in, then they rewire again. I think he know what to, what, how to do it, so it's possible. So for our side, because we just newly use, right? Yeah, like, I don't yeah, understand yeah. why he can... Copy paste, copy paste, copy paste, copy paste. Oh. Yeah, he's trying to do it fast in his video. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Then and some of the cases, right, is very suitable. Those the E number he only go through very briefly. Then he jump oh. to the string straight away. Yes. Yeah, because the string he need the same thing to use, so he actually leave it there and oh. try to wire it again. So, okay. so no matter how it is, right, I think the E number side you need to bring out the case out again to put in again or something like that. Okay. Okay. So, okay, so uh, yeah, uh, back yeah, to the question. Uh, yeah. uh, the labs, I finished already, so... <laughs> mm. But you do the formula, no? Yeah, uh, yeah finish everything already. <laughs> so you do the sub-VI, everything? Uh? Yeah, sub-VI, uh, restructure. Because one of your cases, uh, you need to really edit the, the button. Uh. I also edit and put one stop button there, uh, the red color square. Okay. Because it uh, because your gauge right is a uh, old version gauge. And yeah, this yeah, one is yeah. a new version gauge. Yeah. So the gauge look a bit like a bit different. The one I can't yeah, do anything yeah. about it. No problem. No problem. I redesign the whole gauge. Oh so okay. Not, not possible. I think you use the silver palette. Uh. Yeah, yeah the silver palette. Yeah. Silver so, palette, right? The yeah. more I, mean, up, I would more like to learn more about it, lah, but oh, I think okay. yeah, because it's interesting lah. Because this one really very helpful eh, in to, to do a lot of wiring thing and create yeah. the equipment. Yeah. Hey, Mr. Yo, maybe yes. can I suggest, uh, hey, are you interested to take the, the, the NI got these digital badges? Eh? Digital badges? Are you, in, are you keen or not? Maybe I'll show you. Uh, okay, for the interest. Okay. Mr. Ashraf just came, uh, Mr. Ashraf. <laughs> <laughs> so, how? Maybe I'll show you the badge. Uh. Okay, I show you. okay, yes. Uh, wait, wait, hold on. Uh, hold on I'll show you. Yeah, i share yeah, my... Uh, oh, just after work. Uh. Uh, yeah, yeah. Oh, okay, okay. Hey, you must submit there. your lab, ah. Must submit your lab, ah. Okay, sure, sure. Okay, ah. Hey, I finished class already, ah. Actually, mm. if you want, you can, yeah. But I'm sharing with uh Mr. Yo. Hey, Mr. Yo. Yes, sir. Okay, I, 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 ah, you, you can. If you want, you can stick around. Okay, I share my screen. With you are okay. There's this thing called the digital badges, ah. We are sharing you, eh. Wait, ah. You just follow, ah. Yes, sir. Okay, you you got your Google with you, or not? You go to your Google, Google okay, uh, okay. you type NI, you go to your Google, uh, you type digital badges. Okay. Ba badges, uh, okay, uh, there is one. Digital badges. You see badges? Okay, badges. Uh. Uh, national instruments. Uh, maybe uh, uh, this one, this one. Can you see this? See my screen? Uh? Double check. Uh. Okay, uh. okay. Okay, got it, got it. You see these badges, uh, uh, okay, you mm -hmm. click on this one, right? Okay, since yes. you are interested, uh, okay, I thought maybe share. Uh. Okay, so you click on this. Okay, uh, it's loading. Uh, okay, you see this, right? Okay, this one is a FOC program. Uh. So basically, okay. it is to promote your, your so-called, to see your oh, certificate. Okay, okay. Your Where you are, la, your uh, level of your, knowledge. Your proficiency. Uh. So for example, mm -hmm. right, if you click on this, 
explore learning path uh, they got many okay. Uh, okay? Right. so i i'm encouraging students to take for example okay you see this one uh, okay you actually first of all you need to log in uh, you know you have one free ni account right yes 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 uh, you let's okay. say if you you have to log in first uh, if not i uh, see uh, currently i'm logged in eh. okay you have to log in first then you can attempt the the online quiz eh. then they give you a badge eh, to certify you eh. Oh, okay, okay, uh, okay. Okay, say for example, Lab View Programming, they got different badges, uh, but I suggest you start with the simple one first. Uh. Of course, start of course. From here. Let's say Lab View Programming. Okay, you click on this uh, one, right? Uh, yeah, when, when I have time, uh, basically, I think it's after this whole poly course uh, because uh, no time, uh. because the, the, the fifth SEM course uh, is very hectic. Uh. Every week, they have assignments. Oh, uh, I and, see. And uh, the DSD. Uh. Oh, my God. Oh, okay, okay. But just to share, uh, if you are interested, yeah. This one yeah, is I, I, I'll do it, I'll do it because it's something, very interesting. Something, yeah, if you find interesting, uh, I encourage you. Uh. Oh, no, sir, because this program, will you take it back after the. the, the uh, no, uh, I mean, this, this, this. No, 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 you okay. valid for one year. No, this program, there's a free version now, you know. Yeah, yeah, I, I saw the whole thing. There's a home free version just for practice. Though. Yes, uh, Lab View 2020. Uh, it's called Lab View 2020 Community. So this one, eight, sir, is actually the authentic one, right? Because yes. uh, you already give us the code already. But so it's only valid it. for, it's also valid for one year only. Eh? Oh, one year only. Can understood, understood. Oh, one year only. Oh, just yeah. to let you know. After one year, I think it might expire. It will, it'll probably understood. expire. Understood. But now it's free. Yeah. La. You can do it on your home using the, the, the other one, the free edition. Can, oh. sir. Yeah, okay, so, uh, so, uh, so uh, back, uh, back to the question uh, on the lab time, uh, so uh, should I still join? Because actually, I have not much question really, except the E number only so far. Oh, like that. Uh. But also, cannot excuse you, like. you know I mean, you just come. Uh. I, I mean, I can lock on. Uh. So, uh, lock on, because, uh. I'm, because actually, so, uh, no offense, uh, no offense. Mm. Uh. I'm, I'm, I'm a more person to like, I like in the tutorial, I like to go through the question uh, with oh. other things. So, because I also never do, that's why I like to go through. Oh, so I, I can, it can, it can slowly etch into my mind. I do again, and then it will really fully go in. Oh, yeah, because so your you style to... is more to for people that's online one. So yeah, so yeah. I have to watch the video, so I'll try first. If I really cannot, right? Uh, I would like to ask if Mr. I can join Mr. Chan's group for his tutorial only, because it's your oh. lab time. Yeah, because actually, uh, in your tutorial, you also don't do much. You just we have to watch the video first, and we don't practice initially. So it'll be very funny also. Oh, you mean for his or for mine? Uh, no, for, for yours, for yours. Oh. You, uh, you actually ask us to watch a video, go through a video, more online version. Uh. Yeah, hmm. it's another way of learning uh, because I, I like to listen to the lecture, to, to I mean the tutorial, mm -hmm. to go through step by step. Yeah, mm -hmm. more, more no, style. Uh, uh. Yeah, I understand, but the issue is because now the online method, uh, this way, uh, it's a bit challenging, you know, because yes, yes. I don't know whether you understand one of our challenges that I also like the whiteboard style, you know. Yes, yes. You, you saw my video. Uh. Actually, yes, I, yes. Like, I like to explain to students in class using marker, whiteboard, I write. Yeah, I, I totally prefer that. Uh, but <laughs> now the issue is because of this online thing, uh, I think you, you probably understand. Yeah, yeah, I totally understand because well, most this, of the tutor cannot go through all. So. Can't do it because we don't have the writing. You know what I mean? The, yeah, tech, it's, the it's very difficult, it's very difficult. experience is very difficult because I, I cannot write on the screen, you know what I mean? Yes, yes. Yeah, so that's our challenge. Eh? That's why we try. Eh? Yeah, yeah. La, we... So I, I totally understand. I totally understand. It's only that uh, I don't know how uh, Mr. Chan's style is going through. Maybe it's mm. the same thing. You can ask him, but I think he's probably doing similar. Eh? He just, he, I think for him, he's just talk only. Yeah. If yeah. you are just, uh, you can ask his, his class, uh, his fellow students. Uh, I think mm. he just talk about it. Eh? Oh, he will just okay, like say, oh, the, this one, he just look at the figure, he will show one slide, maybe the picture of the question, he will just tell you how he will solve it, but he will not actually okay. do. I think yeah, so. Yeah, uh. yeah. I think so. Can also, can also, because actually I'm done very badly for the quiz. Uh. <laughs> yeah, because I, the tutorials, I don't really practice. So, yeah, and BJT has been always my problem. Uh. So, mm. so, yeah. That is major on BJT also. So no issue, no issue. I just wanted to, to mm -hmm. try to buck up on the one next week. Because there's mm -hmm. one next week. Hey, why don't you, Mr. Yo, you you come with question you ask, uh, you know what I mean? Uh because I actually never really practiced the tutorial as so, well. Oh. Because the question is actually it looks more uh, different from the usual simple question for this course. 
Okay. Yeah, this course combined quite a lot from previous. It combined all the third SAM, second SAM, and first SAM stuff all together. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, we can see that this one got some of, of uh, 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 year one course stuff, PJT from uh, P, uh, PEA, mm. some programming from, from the programming. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah so it, it's amazing. really like combined a lot and more to electronics. And my yes. part is actually electronics. Yeah, yeah, correct. It is. So, in, fact, so, in fact, my part later topic part is a lot of electronics. Eh? Yeah, yeah. I, 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 it just can't go in my head for electronics. So I need to do a bit of like... <laughs> A conversion uh, myself uh, internally. Uh. Okay. Yeah. I'm good at programming. So oh. yeah, doing all the programming, like like you have one the, the one for the formula yeah. name. Yeah, I totally understand. Because initially I typed wrongly also. So I try okay. to debug myself everything. So yeah, on how it is. I even I saw that there's a MATLAB uh, 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 package uh, which yes, yes. Uh, is not inside, but we have to it's a it's an add on. Uh. All right. All the maps math script, uh. yeah. All yeah, right. math script everything, then uh, like different programming stuff. Mm. This. So I even I went through the like, whole thing like, last last weekend. Uh. Okay. Yeah, only weekend I only have time. Oh okay, okay. Uh, and holidays lah. Like, I see. Hey, so maybe Mr. Yo can ask your help lah. Like, if your friends, your classmate got problem, can also you can chip in to help them lah. Like, the last one. <laughs> uh, maybe, uh, can lah. No, no, no issue for me. No issue. If they, yeah. But, uh, <laughs> All right. Uh. I, I think I, I only know this lah like, because if I want to know, I I like to know more of the the outside one, uh, more so that I can can really help. Because uh, yeah, mm. Mm, because I just want interested like interested. This is very interesting this, software. This software very powerful uh, actually. Yeah, 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 totally, totally. You have all the things in. It's only graphically is a bit old because they always add on to the uh using the old old stuff to re add on and add on and add on to grow. Yeah, uh, graphics uh, Some of the graphics is a bit old. <laughs> oh, yeah la, but you must use the latest one uh. You can mm, use the yeah definitely copy. definitely. I think they are improving and, and very interesting because as you can see how it moves uh. so. It's, it's very good for debugging a lot of uh, yes. machineries. Correct, correct. Stuff. They, they use uh, a lot for the automation. Uh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I, I like automation also. <laughs> uh, also like the automated software, do data logging, measurement, all this kind of thing. Yeah, totally, totally. Uh, inputs, mm. outputs, uh, 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 how, how to get a thing. Yeah, uh, very uh, interesting. Thank you, sir. Okay, okay. Uh, okay better go. Okay, 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 uh, I'll see you join. Mm, okay. Uh, okay, Ken, uh, thanks a lot. Uh. Good, okay. night, good night, good night. Okay, thank thanks. you, good night. Mm, bye-bye. Okay.